video, I was working on an initial inspection. I'm just going through. I'm touching uh, the hot section, the cold section of this motor. I'm checking the inlet. I have my work cards pulled up and it's telling me exactly how things need to be set. My goal is to go through and touch every part of the motor that I can put hands on. I want to put hands on it. I want to yank it. I want to touch it. I want to try and turn it if it turns and I want to make sure that it's set because when we pass this off to the pilot, the pilot needs to know that it's in good hands and that it's been worked professionally down, down to every work card. So when it's time for this jet to come in, we're gonna break it down. Our crew chiefs are gonna break it down. They're gonna take off panels. They're gonna get up under everything and check to make sure everything is set. Not just one spot check, but an overall jet check. When it gets to us, best believe we're gonna take care of it. Because when it goes back out there to flight line, it should be perfect already. There shouldn't be anything that flight line needs to do to this jet. My job specifically in regards to the six maintenance group is inspection of the CFM 56 or military designation F-108 engines. I've been on this airframe for almost seven years. So as far as the global reach aspect, 135s, they're all over the world. They go <laughs> wherever they're needed. Uh, they work in a wide variety of environments from sub-zero temperatures to over 120 degrees out in the Middle East. And it takes a unique, reliable aircraft to be able to do that. So when my team comes out after an initial inspection, we'll have all four motors completed plus two APUs in the back of the jet. And once we say, okay, uh, inspection phase is completed, we move on to our fixed phase. And our fixed phase is when we go out and everything that we found during our initial inspection, we go out and we correct it on the spot. So if it's a new uh, safety wire, if it's something that needs to be tightened or torqued, uh, we have it written down in our scripts and we go through line by line and we correct it right then and there. Once it's corrected, we sign it off in our books and that lets the rest of the flight know that engines, uh, jet troops have done their part.